Meeting tomorrow, Ivanka Trump heading to Atlanta to meet with survivors of human trafficking and their caregivers. New tonight, we're taking a closer look at a growing problem in the country and right here in Metro Atlanta. Human trafficking and sex trafficking. Governor Kemp kicked off the legislative session today, promising to crack down. As Hopeport reports, advocates say there are businesses right here, guys, in plain sight, aiding and buying and selling victims. There are people here who are buying and selling the most vulnerable of us. Camilla Zofogari is the CEO of Street Grace, an Atlanta-based organization helping prevent human trafficking. They treat them as merchandise. They, she says, are operators of illegal massage parlors. So the illicit massage businesses are the second largest form of trafficking in the United States. Victims from other countries bought and sold in Atlanta. Zofogari spent time at the Capitol Monday with Governor Kemp, collaborating with legislators on policies aimed at closing parlors and helping survivors. The first step is a study from Street Grace that will be released next week. We're talking about the demand, the scope, the economy around the illicit massage businesses in Metro Atlanta, and then also how to deal with it. Dr. Vanessa Boucher, a principal investigator for humantraffickingdata.org, helped conduct the study. I estimate that it's about 25,000 people across the United States that are working in these 9,000 establishments. Boucher says closing the parlors is the priority, but helping the survivors should be just as important. What happens to these victims when these illicit massage industries go down? Boucher also owns Severa, a business employing survivors of sex trafficking. She says giving survivors sustainable work helps keep them from becoming victims again. When you take women out of an exploitative environment and you give them all of the tools that they need to excel and to achieve, and they're hungry for it, and they, they rise to the occasion. Bringing light to an issue we can all keep top of mind. Today, First Lady Marty Kemp launched new training for state employees to help prevent human trafficking. Members of the Grace Commission, that's a statewide group designed to fight the crime, help create the program along with the training. The Georgia Public Safety Training Center will also host two self-defense classes on January 30th. There is so much help out there for survivors. Here is the number for the National Human Trafficking Hotline. That's one 888 you can dial that number 24-7. All right, thanks a lot, Aisha.